Um, today I want to work on some projects to get some projects finished. So here's one project that I'm really wanting to finish up. Um, I have my blue and white blocks here, just in this project bag, and let me show you what is in here. So I have several blocks. Um, I have a total of 11 blocks made, and so I decided I wanted to make one more for a total of 12. So I picked out this block here, and I cut everything out to make this block and then once I make it I'll I will have 12 blocks and so I'm going to add sashing I decided I wanted to do white sashing and some blue cornerstones and so I did cut out the cornerstones so I will do two and a half inch squares for my cornerstones and then two and a half inch strips for my um oh what am I trying to tell you for my sashing and that is what I will do for this quilt let me go ahead and sew this block up and I will share all these blocks with you. got my last blue and white block done so if I add it to this stack I will have a total of 12 and look at this I'm setting this on here why is this not measuring right I thought this was going to be a 12 inch block uh oh I might have cut and measured wrong oh my goodness okay well I'll have to look at this pattern again and I might be remaking this block okay so I did relook at the pattern and I cut out originally I cut out the 10 inch block <laughs> so this is a 10 inch block I made a 10 inch block and so I went back to my cutting mat and I cut out everything for a 12 inch block so I am going to get sewing and sew this block up. so after I made this block I figured out that once I laid it on here it was not a 12 inch block so I measured it's a 10 inch block I accidentally cut it out um, in a 10 inch block size instead of 12 so I had to remake it so I did just that um, so there's my 12 inch block and now I have all my blocks for my blue and white quilt and I'm going to lay them out and share them with you so you can see what they look like. And then I need to actually go buy some fabric, white fabric for the sashing. I would like to do white fabric for sashing and then some cornerstones in the blue. I laid out all my blocks. So, um, I've been working on this blue and white quilt for just a little bit. I decided I'm just kind of in the mo the mood, I guess. I was going to say mode, but the mood to finish some projects. So I just finished this block today and I to make this an even 12 blocks. But I decided I want to just finish this quilt. So I need to go buy some white background fabric for sashing. And I'm going to add sashing and cornerstones and decide on the layout because I'm not liking this layout. So... I need to, de to decide on the layout and then I'll add the sashing, the cornerstones, and then I'll bring it back here and show you guys what it looks like. And one more project I'd really like to finish are these quilt tops. So, this should turn to two quilt tops, but I took some scraps. I did share this a while ago, but I took scraps and I wanted to come up with some blocks for like a masculine quilt. And so I did this 16 patch block um, with mostly scraps. I did have some um, pieces of fabric. Like I think this one was under a yard and I cut it into two and a half inch strips to use it for this quilt. But most of this fabric came from my scrap bin and or scrap bins and so what I did is I sashed each of these with a two and a half inch strip and you can see they're cut here and then I also plan to do a two and a half inch strip in between each one and then add a cornerstone in between each one and I decided to go this route instead of doing one long strip because I find it easy easier to line up um, the cornerstones than I do one long strips. So what I mean by that is, let's say I have this one here and I decide to have one long strip. 
I would have to line up this sashing piece with this sashing piece so it looks uniform and looks straight versus being like that and being off just a little bit. I really struggle with lining that those sash, sashing up when it's like that. So I just decided, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of having to do that, I will just piece all my sashing. Um, and then I will just put a cornerstone whoops, in here. And so I have all of this cut out. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I have all this cut out and ready to go. So I actually have two, there are two quilts here. So let's see how many rows did I do? There's seven, seven right there. Let me see. Oh, there's one. Okay. So there will be seven rows in one quilt and seven rows in another quilt. And all the sashing in between the blocks has been put on, um, I guess in each row. And then now I need to go back and do the sashing strips that will join each row together. And so that's what I, another project I want to finish up. So I will share that once I have finished these two quilt tops. And then my plan for these is just to have them sit on my shelf until I need a masculine quilt. Um, but I just wanted to use scraps and I think it will be nice to have some, some masculine quilts ready for when I decide to gift a quilt. Um, and I know sometimes it is nice to have a quilt like already or make a quilt um, for somebody. So as you're making it, you know you're giving it to somebody. But these ones, I just really wanted to go through my scrap bins, use up tons of scraps, and I'm just going to have them sitting on my shelf for when I need to gift them or when I have a quilt, need a quilt to gift, I guess I should say. I just finished pressing all of this sashing. So I have sashing pressed, I have the rose pressed, and now I can put together the quilt tops. So this will make um, two quilt tops. So I have seven rows for one quilt and seven rows for another quilt. So I'm in my living room and I just finished these two quilts and you can see that they're overlapped here. So they are pretty big. Um, I was going to add a border around the outside, but I think I like the size of them. So let me show you what just one of them looks like and then um, tell you what my original plan was. So here's just one quilt top and I just measured it and it is 58 by 68. And so I think I'm happy with that. Um, I really did consider adding a border, but I don't know why. I'm just like done. I guess I feel done with these quilts. So I may go back and add a border. I guess I could, but for right now, I'm calling these done. One thought I did have two is, okay, so I have two of these. The other one I just set aside. Um, but I could take this gray sashing fabric and do a binding with the gray. And so I feel like that will frame it and kind of tie it all together. Um, you know, as I was making these quilts, I was just thinking how, oh, I thought it was going to be a simple patchwork. No big deal. But it really did take some time because I had to pin. And when I put the sashing on, I had to pin. Um, I did do some seam ripping because my sashing was not straight. So it did take a lot more work than I really anticipated. And that's okay. But I just, I just was, you know, had to remind myself that, hey, even though it's just a simple patchwork in my mind, it really did take a lot of work. Many, many hours went into this, went into both of these quilts. So happy to have them done and I'm happy to share them with you guys. So again, um, this tutorial for the patchwork I got from um, Red Pepper Quilts. So you can go to her website. And I used mostly my scraps and then um, it measures 58 wide by 68 long. And I did um, six squares by seven. So it's six by seven blocks, I guess. And my sashing is two and a half inches. 
with, um, I did two and a half inch cornerstones in the middle just to make it easier to line up and have it look neat and uniform. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.